Hi everyone, it's Justine. Last week we talked about style rules that French women often agree on and follow when they get dressed. Today I'd like to go a bit deeper than that and tell you about the essential pieces in a French wardrobe. I guess there are like 10 of them that literally every French woman owns. So we'll go through that top 10 of essentials and at the end of this video I'd like to give you some shopping tips to choose and pick your key pieces the French way. So stick with me. First let's start with the top 10. Number 1 a white, crisp, tailored shirt with a marked waist is synonym for urban, active and elegant when you're working or if you're sitting in a cafe. White shirts are also worn during leisure time in Paris. It's not something reserved to weekdays or to work purposes. You also see women wearing shirts during weekends. Number two, an elegant blazer in France is not overdressed. It's just right. And if it's a bit silky, a bit shiny, if it has studs on it or on the shoulders, or if it has a tuxedo-like color, then it's even better. It can be fitted and, and quite tailored if you wear it just over a simple top, or it can be oversized and even double-breasted if you wear it as an outerwear piece, like on this picture. That's the editor-in-chief of French Vogue, Emmanuel Alt. Number three. Ballerinas, or alternatively loafers, are a must in Paris because you don't wear sneakers to work, that's not really usual but you do need to walk a lot throughout the day especially if you have to change subway lines during your commute subway stations in Paris have endless corridors and stairways so you definitely need a good pair of flats Number 4 So let me get this straight A black dress does not have to be little to work. The fact that it fits your body well is much more important. If you're a pear-shaped body, you might want to go for an A-line dress. If you don't like your arms, you might want to opt for the long sleeve version, etc. I did a video series on how to dress for your body shape, for your body type, so I'm not going to go into details in this video right here, but you'll find that series on my channel. The idea of the black dress is that it's your best possible silhouette and that black is always chic. So when in doubt, or when you don't have anything to wear, you can always wear black. Number five. A very, very good black t-shirt with the v-neck or a crew neck that is flowy and loose enough to move around you when you move and long enough to be tucked into your pants if you want to. And then the exact same t-shirt in white. And a few other colors. Once you have found your perfect t-shirt shape, staple. Get several ones. Number six. A nice turtleneck sweater in a good cut in your true size will always look elegant. You can pick black or maybe a neutral hue that flatters your skin tone. Think that you're going to wear that sweater in winter when your skin is paler anyway, so you need that color to be flattering. Think of cashmere for instance. It's so soft that you could wear it on bare skin and then you have the feeling that you're getting hugged all day. A nice fabric is important for that sweater to feel great. French women will all tell you if you feel great, it shows and you also look great. Once you have that perfect sweater, add French perfume on top and then everybody else will also want to hug you. Number seven, a well-fitted pair of dark blue jeans can be styled down with sneakers or up with a blazer and a nice pair of heels. So in France, it is seen as a very versatile piece of clothing, much more than clear jeans, which always look more casual and that's not good if you want to go out with those pants later. Also, bleached jeans mean a lot more pollution during the production process and it wastes a lot of water. And bleaching damages the fibers, so your clear jeans won't last as long as dark ones. No brainer. Number eight. A huge scarf is a nice accessory no matter which season you live in. In winter it can be made of wool and in summer, for instance, lightweight cotton. It can have a print on it, so it's going to be the accent color in your outfit, otherwise made of, probably, solid colors. You can simply wrap it around your neck, like here, or you can tie it in the front to look a bit more formal. And if you have smelly neighbors in the subway, you know, it's very practical. Number nine. You need a purse into which you can throw everything you need during the whole day. Makeup, snacks, books, computer, gym clothes, heels if you're going out after work. Think of Mary Poppins, you know, she opens the bag and pulls out no matter what you need. Yeah, that's the idea. Number 10. A pair of black high pointy heels. The type that hurts but makes your legs look fabulous. 
Think of Sano stilettos, this kind, like your basic, typical, super chic black heels. You can't really walk in them, but you have flats with you, right? In your huge handbag, so you're fine. Now, when French women go shopping, they seriously prioritize quality over quantity. How to do that? Very simple, I have a method in four points, four questions. So, question one. Does that piece fit with at least half of what's already in my wardrobe? Second, will I want to wear that for at least 10 or even 20 years? Or is it something fashionable and it's gonna go out of fashion at some point? Number three, is the quality so high that I can wash it at least 50 times and it's still gonna look good and have its shape? Number four, it's actually not a question, it's a challenge. You go home without buying the piece. You wait 24 hours and if then you still want it, you can go get it. It can be silly, but it actually prevents impulse purchases. And impulses are the main reason why we buy too fast clothes that are too cheap. On a scale from 0 to 10, how many of those pieces do you own already? Or I should say, on a scale from 0 to 10, how French are you? Do you have further questions about French style? Because I have to admit, it's a fun topic for me to reflect and, and discuss about, so I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Give this video a thumb up if you liked it. Thank you. I see you soon for a new video. I now upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Until then, take care. Bye.